458 Talk is the number. We'll get back to the phones here in just a moment. I just wanted to take a second to remind you of one of our other sponsors here, Far North Tactical, over there at the corner of 8th and Lacey, the old Blondie's building. You can head on in there and get the items to protect you, your house, your family, yourself from poor decision makers. Firearms, body armor, and of course other items like medical supplies. Be prepared. Check it out for yourself at Far North Tactical at the corner of 8th and uh, Lacey. You recognize this song? Probably wasn't born. It's actually from the 80s. I only know stuff from when I was born. I don't look at history. I mean, Dave's been mocked for looking at Aaron's been mocked. But you think because you read history, you know anything? Oh, gee, those who don't know their history are destined, doomed to repeat it. That uh, group is called Bad Brains. The tune is Rise. And uh, it's one of my favorite little ditties there. Or Mr. Anarchy over here probably knows it by heart. <laughs> <laughs> 458-TALK is the number. We get back to the phones. Good morning, caller. Who's this? Hello. Hey, who is this? Charles. Charles, what's on your mind? Hey, Charles. Hey, uh, two things. Gresham's Law, and I wanted to ask Dave if he'd read Henry George's Progress in Poverty. Gresham's Law is about currency, and if you introduce a currency of a lesser value, people will always keep and collect and hoard the currency of the greater value and only use the currency of the lesser value. And Henry George's land tax originally began as the first single tax, and it was based on the on the profit that you made off the land only. So if you if you use the, your land to profit, then you pay the tax. Huh? That's yeah. That's interesting. I mean, that's like uh, that's what in, income tax was you know supposed to be on uh, income that was generated by financial instruments only, right? Not what you were using to sustain yourself. So that's that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, Gresham's law. Gresham's law only applies in, uh, I mean, it's true, right? It's, you know, essentially bad money drives out good. When the king would start clipping coins, um, people would hoard the coins that hadn't been clipped yet, right? Uh, but that's, that only, that law only arises in situations where you have a legal tender enforced through law. If the market can choose money, right? If you have a, if you had like a credit card that worked in silver grams or gold grams and Federal Reserve notes and Chinese renminbi and whatever, at the moment that that transaction clears, um, the value could be anything, right? Maybe gold. If gold is sixteen hundred bucks an ounce, then you don't lose anything by transacting in dollars at sixteen hundred dollars an ounce, as long as the market can decide prices dynamically. But when you have legal tender laws that say you must transact in dollars, right? And a dollar is defined to be nothing, um, an IOU nothing is actually what it is. Uh, then yeah, then you have Gresham's law rise, which is why if you go through your dimes and quarters today. Guess what you won't find? You won't find any pre-1964 dimes or quarters because everybody's hoarded them. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, and if the we, government finds out you have them, they will take them. Yeah, and, yeah, they and did it, recently. And if they if they abolished legal tender law, or if, or if we nullified legal tender law and just said, man, go you know go fly a kite, right. um, you would probably see those coins. They're called junk silver coins. You'd probably see people transacting in those, not for their face value, but for their value in terms of weight of silver. How much silver is actually in the coin? Right. Uh, let me ask you this, Dave, because uh, and, and Josh too, in in terms of weighing in on this, because you keep talking about how we we'd have to nullify that. Is that isn't that something we have to do at a state level? Don't we have to send some people to Juno who actually have a pair who can go down there and and pass a law like the one we talked about at the beginning of the hour, which is, which is one I think that t- did Texas just pass it or Oklahoma, one of the states did, in which they are allowing. Gold and silver to be what well, Utah maybe Utah, Utah. Yeah. Be, be, to allow gold and silver to be minted in the state for use as legal currency in the state. Well, yeah, I mean there, there's state nullification, but then you're depending on uh, criminals in Juneau instead of criminals in D.C. And maybe you can hope for more because they come back to your town and you can you can go and give them a hard time, right? You can poke them in the in the chest and say, hey, look, I don't like what you did. And who cares about the but, criminals that are 800 or 1,000 miles away when we got criminals 200 right, yards away? Right across the river, the sure. So, so, I mean, nullification, if you take it to its logical extent, goes down to the individual, right? Personal. If something is wrong, 
you know, you don't do it. Um, it's called quit giving them your consent. Right. You remo- remove consent. And, you know, if we remove our consent individually, right, then as a result of that, there would be a there would be a political movement where consent would be removed because our our representatives, quote unquote, none of them represent me, but uh, they basically just capitulate. They cave into popular will. And so as people say, no, this is wrong, um, politicians have to, you know, put their finger in the air and go with the wind. Otherwise, they get voted out. That's why I hope that they pass the wood stove ban, because I'm going to burn. Burn, gonna... baby, burn. <laughs> burn, burn, burn. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to install more wood more. stoves in my house, <laughs> and I'm going to go out in the middle of winter and cut down a tree right then and burn it. <laughs> I'm not going to season it or anything. I'm going to burn it right there just to defy them. I promise. That's what the oh the original flag of the uh, Revolutionary War was a pine tree, mm-hmm. and the reason that it was a pine tree was the king said that he had a right to every large pine tree on the East Coast because he wanted to make uh, ships for the Royal ships. Navy fleet. Yeah. And they said, like hell, there are trees. <laughs> and I'm gonna burn them. I'm gonna burn the whole forest down just so you can't have them. Four, five, eight. That's what it comes down to. I mean, that's, it's as simple as that. Quit giving them your consent. If they pass a stupid wood stove ban, do it anyways. Because but, but they might get fined. The next Josh. they're gonna do is uh, the fuel oil. Yeah. Throw in a good old fuel oil burner if they do it. Buy a couple of them. Start burning fuel. But what if I get fined? Don't pay it's, it. it's a paper tiger. Don't. Or go to court. Cost them money. If you get fined, whatever, go to court. Go to court. It Make costs them a heck of a lot more money than the $200 fine you're going to get, the $30 fine you're going to get, the $50 fine. The borough especially, they have no police powers. 50% of the laws that they have are not enforceable. So why do we follow them? To be good citizens? Who's the good? We are the good because we are the citizens. They're the jackholes. <laughs> 458 Talk is a number. Good morning, caller. Welcome to the show. Who's this? Good morning, it's Al. Al, what's on your mind today? Oh, what's on my mind? Uh, you know, you, uh, several times you've asked the question, uh, what law promotes freedom? Yes. And I hope you got one. Oh, no, I don't have one. Oh, you know, Only because, you know, laws restrict, so you can't have freedom if you have restriction. But my question is, is what freedom do we have that isn't regulated? None. <laughs> Not not in today's, I mean, except for the one, like I just said, to remove your consent. I have the freedom. I mean, right now we have, keep it really quiet, but we have an anarchy going on in this studio right now because there's three of us sitting here and there are no government agents here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, though. Yeah, there's no Molotovs flying around in here, by the way. It's oh. incredible. <laughs> and so Steve was choking Dave a little while ago for saying he didn't sign on with the Constitution, but whatever. <laughs> they worked it out peacefully, eventually. <laughs> Which I gotta say something about that real quick. Dave is right. He didn't sign the Constitution. He's not the one that's uh, that's uh, held by it. But the jackholes in Washington D.C. swore an oath to follow it. It was uh, Patrick Henry said that the Constitution is not an instrument of the government to restrain the people. It's not our Constitution. It's an instrument it to restrain give, the government. It's an instrument of the people to restrain the government. They're the ones that have to follow it, not us, because we're free. The thing didn't give us any freedoms. We're free. From day one, you're born, you're free. The Constitution restrains the government. And has the Constitution failed? I don't think it has. The people have, because we've allowed them to do what they and are doing. And we keep on writing in people who have already failed. And we send them our money, because we continue to give them consent to destroy us. And we keep on sending people back to Washington who think it's their job to govern us. We even write their name in if we have to. <laughs> 458 Talk is the number. Good morning. Welcome to Patriots the Mint. Who's this? This is Randy. 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 I Thanks hear. for calling. What's on your mind? Well, I just wanted to kind of say what I said uh, yesterday to you, Steve, that I wrote some emails to Don Young and to Mark Baggage urging them to compromise and and maybe Jim who called in earlier is right and uh, we really won't default but I think that it's vital that we do that we pay our loan payments you know if we owe something we, we can't pay we it. can't we can't pay them and we're already not paying them pay them with, to who with what well I realize that inflated dollars is kind of like defaulting but it is exactly like defaulting yeah. Randy Randy if you went down to Kinko's today because uh-huh. you had bills due and you took a hundred dollar bill and you said I want a hundred color copies of this and then you took that to GVEA and whoever else, the phone company, whatever, and paid your bills with dollars that you had just Xerox at Kinko's, 
What would you call that? Well, it's uh, kind of like defaulting. I it's agree with fraud. That. It it's is counterfeiting. counterfeiting. It's fraud, yeah. and it's criminal. You right. would be stealing people. You would be stealing wealth from people. You would be committing fraud, and you would go to jail for that. That is what you are advocating the criminals in Washington continue to do. Well, no, they I, can't I, pay the bills. They can only steal more. And when they steal by not defaulting, they steal from savers. They steal from the poorest people who can't afford complicated investments and things like that. They steal from people who hold cash. It is far worse to not default than to default. And they're getting ready to steal your pensions. That's coming up soon. Our our liability is $60 trillion frickin dollars. It's never going to be paid back. And who owes it? Who owes it? Who is supposed to pay that back? Sixty trillion bucks. It's not fourteen. It's Sixty trillion. And it's obviously what we. The, the more, the longer this goes on, the the more we're, we might put it off from us, but we're making that we're setting the axe to fall on our children's head. Let it fail now, so we can take care of business now and start over something. We are out of time, gentlemen. Did we ever get a, a show specific email set up? Ow. Like a, a Dave Geisel hate, uh, hate mail account? No, not yet. I'm actually working on a YouTube channel for the shows, and uh, I'm going to have an email account with that. It'll right. be like some Patriots Lament email. I'll get it to you so you can shout it out on Right the, now, on Patriots here. Lament email is just bighorn.alaska at gmail.com, but we'll have an official one someday if we ever... And you can also you can also email the studio here. You can just use mine, Steve Go to Floyd our at kfar660.com. Yes, the website. PatriotsLament.blogspot.com. Coming up Get next, there and show the hate. <laughs> Coming up next, it is a health talk. Another hour of live local talk on the way. I will see you all Monday morning. <laughs>